A Chattanooga audiologist says hearing loss is becoming more prevalent amongst young people. Doctors say it's a preventable problem that really stems from harmful listening habits. Our Jeremiah Beatty shares some tips on how to stay hearing proactive. Sign your name and leave the date right there. Hey, welcome to North Shore. Guess you didn't hear me. Um, I think her music's loud. Hey, your music's loud. You need to turn it down. Hello? Oh my God. While ignoring signs to turn down the volume may be fun now, it's one that could cost you later. If I can hear your music that loud, then it's way too loud for your ears. Cynthia Carter is a hearing instrumental specialist at Hear USA in Chattanooga. Carter says while hearing loss is common among those 60 and older, she's now encountering younger patients. Unfortunately, there's so many folks that come in that this is, the damage has already been done. And once those hair cells are damaged in your ear, they don't grow back. So it's kind of like you're really the only alternative is um, hearing instruments. Carter's job is to identify and assess people experiencing hearing loss. She says hearing loss can be hereditary for some, while others may suffer without treatment. If you're asking people to repeat themselves, you're having trouble in noise. I have so many folks that'll come in and the main thing they say to me is, I hear people speaking, or, but I don't understand what they're saying. Carter says it's important to be aware of the amount of time and exposure you have to loud noises. One way audiologists measure a sound's intensity is by decibels. Carter says decibel levels above 80% are harmful. That would be like a lawnmower or a chainsaw might even be 100 decibel. Um, I've been to concerts or even church music where I put my little decibel reader on my phone and I see that it's over a hundred decibel and that is damaging. A good reminder for anyone in a loud environment, keep noise exposure at a minimum and schedule routine hearing tests. Carter recommends scheduling a routine hearing exam every three years. You can find information to schedule a free one inside our local three news app. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Jeremiah Beatty. Well, Jeremiah is saving hearing one gym session at a time.